Hey everyone, I'm here with Caleb Valdivinos at Westwood Christian Assembly. Caleb, you've been the children's pastor here for how long now? About a year and a half. Year and a half, very yep. cool. This is in White Center, just in a, a kind of suburb area of Seattle, Washington. And uh, yeah, so what's it been like the children's pastor at, uh, at Westwood? It's been very interesting because I'm not from a neighborhood like this. So um, there's definitely been some challenges just with the kids. Um, but I absolutely love it here. Um, we're really community focused, so I love getting um, in there with the kids and really, yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so here we are. We're kind of outside your main gathering place on Sunday. I was hoping you kind of show us around a little bit. Sure. Cool. Check Not it wrong. out. So this is kind of your main door. And when kids come in, this is the first thing they see. Now, is this a set you guys have up all the time or is this something that kind of rotates? Uh, I try to rotate. This is the second month that I've done this at all. Um, so last month it was a whole different Christmas set. And this time it's uh, DS. Nice. That's pretty impressive. So you actually created a Nintendo DS for your set. That's pretty cool. I did, yeah. Um, how do you make, I mean, how long does that take? This one took, oh my gosh, I started two weeks before January even, uh, before January, and I was up from seven at night till seven in the morning, just finishing it before Sunday. <laughs> so, so Saturday night, you started at 7 p.m.? Yep. And you finished Sunday morning at 7 a.m.? 7 a.m. Before your Sunday morning yep. service? Two hours before I had to come back. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> hardcore. So, and you're going to do a theme like this is a theme that you'll carry on a monthly basis or quarterly basis? Yeah, whatever the theme is, I'll always make the, the stage according to that. That's cool. Show us a little bit how you made because I was really fascinated with this. Obviously, it's huge and it's awesome. And my first thought was that it had to cost a fortune. But then you kind of showed me what the, the stuff that you were using. What do you call these boards that you used to kind of put it together with? I just call it styrofoam board. Um, I think there's a different technical name for it, but it's just styrofoam, eight by four feet, about an inch thick, and um, just get paint from Michaels, and and you were good to go. It, yeah. <laughs> and then I see just some plastic curtain stuff and lights from tablecloths. table plastic <laughs> tablecloths. Okay, lights from IKEA, and just a yep. bunch of creativity. Yeah, and um, all this is hanging because uh, it's all hanging from uh, fishing line. That's cool. So just buy a whole bunch of that in. That's pretty impressive. I really like how you tied in your screen with the theme and everything else. Right. Where do you get, like, obviously you're very creative and you have talents in these areas, but where do you kind of, where does it start? Where do you get your inspiration for ideas like this? Uh, and anywhere that I can, if there's something sparks an idea. So, for example, for this set, I was at the Disney store and I saw a music video for Wreck-It Ralph from Owl City, and they did a set similar to this where the guys were singing, but they were in a, a video game. And I thought, how cool would, would it be if I did uh, a video game-based curriculum uh, with this set? And so that's how this all came about. That's cool. So obviously you're going to do it again. So are <laughs> you, how do you keep an eye out for like what's next? Do you have a theme set ahead of time, or do you go out of your way to, to find creative ideas like this, or are you just always kind of in that mindset? It's, I, it's hard to explain because it's just, um, it just happens. Like I was, I wasn't even going to the Disney store to uh, get an idea. I was just there shopping for stuff for my for my brothers. Your little mermaid and I, and I saw it. Yes, my, yeah, yep. okay. I had to get all the the who's it's and what's it's galore. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were there and you just caught your eye. Yep, and uh, and I thought not the Little Mermaid, the other stuff. Yes, the other stuff, the, okay. the video game. So, um, it's just whatever comes to me if, if it's there. Um, yeah. That's cool. Are there sources that you go to specifically for inspiration, or is it just your mind's just always in that zone, so when something clicks, you're like, oh, kids would love it? Well, I'm always trying to think of what, what kids are into right now and, and what's relevant, and so I'll, you know, I'll watch Disney Channel, uh, Nickelodeon, uh, PBS, anything that, that uh, gets the kids' attention now, and somehow try to put it with my curriculum that I'm teaching. So when they see it at home, they can uh, realize, oh, we're doing that also, or something similar to that. And even that can cause the kids to remember uh, what, what they're learning. So even when they're watching TV, just a secular program, they can remember the God message that I've been uh, presenting to them. That's cool. Cool. I love it. Cool. Caleb, thanks for sharing. Of course. If uh, people want to learn more about Westwood, where would they go? Online? They or? would go to WCACeattle.org. Cool. And people want to follow you online or check out what you've been up to specifically? Is there a good way for them to... Uh, just on Facebook, Caleb Aldovinos. And I think that's about it. Cool. Caleb, thanks a lot. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you.